Hi, this is Swanet from Nail Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, today, this is going to be an experimental video. I'm going to show you how I created some jelly colors for the let like technique. And I'm going to show you how I came up with this idea. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let me tell you how this experiment started. Okay, so just recently I had to recharge my printer's ink and I do it myself. So I have some bottles, I buy bottles of ink, of printer's ink. Actually I have bigger bottles than these, but I take the bigger bottles and I transfer it to these smaller ones because these are the ones that fit in the cartridge of my printer's cartridge. And when I was filling up the cartridge, a video came to my mind. And the video that came to my mind was from the lovely Cassie. And her YouTube is Cassie P. She has gorgeous designs. I met her through Instagram. She's a very lovely person as well. And she has a video where she shows you how she created her own jelly colors. She doesn't use this. She uses alcohol ink. She uses uh, that type of product. But you guys should definitely check out the video. I'm going to post it down below so you can see how she does them. She tells you step by step. It's truly a wonderful video. So when I was recharging my printer's cartridge, I thought about that video and I said, hey, why not try to see if this works? You know, because honestly, all I wanted was a green color which I created as you can see for this because as you guys know I have the OPI sheer tints and the OPI sheer tints comes in these four colors which is the yellow, the pink, the blue and the purple so I didn't have green and I had to be mixing it up with another color to get it the green I wanted so I said I'm going to experiment to see how this works so actually this experiment is just a few days old and I don't know if over time this will separate you know I, I really don't know I will let you guys know in the future but for now it's working great and I want to show you guys um, how I created them first what I did is I got a empty bottle of polish I cleaned it out with acetone if, if anything was left in it and then I had this big bottle of clear polish and I know a lot of us girls we buy so much and we honestly don't use it all so I said I'm going to use this so that way I can finish the product and I filled in these two bottles with that and I still have some left so I'm going to do that right now after your bottle has dried completely you go ahead and you fill it up with some clear polish and that's what I'm going to do right now. So as you can see it's very easy to fill up. Oops. Okay and there we have a full bottle of clear. I'm going to create a darker purple and I found out that I need the blue the blue which is cyan and the magenta to create a purple and what I am going to do is add equal parts so I'm gonna start and I am going to apply because I know I need a lot of I need a lot of drops because to get this magenta to be dark I needed 40 drops to get this green I needed 20 yellow and 20 blue so I'm going to do the same thing with these two colors I'm going to add 20 drops of each color all right so let's start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten a whole bunch went in <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm going to leave it like that because I think I, I dropped more than I should. And I'm making a mess. 
Now I'm going to put 20 drops of blue. Okay, there we have 20. And uh, let me clean this up a bit. So there we go. Now we're going to cover it. And we're going to shake it up. And you really, really have to shake this up a lot to get it to mix. Then you can check on it. And as you can see, we already have that dark purple. But you really, really, really have to mix it. I'm going to continue to mix it up and I'll be back. So I gave it a very pretty good shake, you guys. <laughs> and as you see, it is a dark purple. But before I show you how they work, I'm going to stamp this beautiful floral from Fab Your Nails 15. That way I can show you how the colors would look with the lit light technique. Well, let's apply polish. Gently swipe. Pick up. Stamp. All right, you guys, I, as you can see, I already tried them. I already started to paint my nails with them. But now I'm going to show you how I did them on my ring finger, okay? So first I'm going to use the yellow one from OPI, from the sheer tints. And I'm just going to add a dab of yellow in the center of the flower right there. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do. Then I'm going to take the colors that I created and I'm going to take the magenta color and I'm going to fill in the flower. Of course you can do this with a dotting tool or another detail brush. I'm going to do it just with the brush being very careful not to make a mess. <laughs> so there we go. I really love this color. The purple one that I showed you guys in the video. I'm going to use it now. And I'm going to fill in the rest. Except the leaves. Here we have another flower in the back. So let's color that one in too. There we go. And now using the green, which I also like, I'm going to fill in the leaves. So happy that now I have a green to use for this technique. And there we go. And if you want it to look a little bit more darker, you can go over again. We'll go over a little bit. See? That way it looks better. And over the purple. I didn't actually like the way the purple came out, but it's okay. This is experimenting. And there we go. Now all we need to do is add your favorite top coat and you're done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply that very quickly. I should apply it another coat of the magenta on that one, but too late. <laughs> Let's add a little bit more to this one. Okay. 
Okay. And okay. I'm gonna add a top coat later to that one. All right. And there we go. How do you? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, this is just me experimenting <laughs> so i don't know whether or not this will you know work hopefully it won't separate but time will tell right just to let you guys know that if you do have some printer ink lying around the house you can create some lovely clear polishes as well okay i hope you guys enjoyed the video Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.